Hello everyone, Trancha Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. So, in today's video, uh, something a little bit different, but it will enable you to have a look at some of my animals. Um, one of the things that I don't do a lot of is merchandise, and recently I've been trying to uh, design a few different things that I would like to monitor some t-shirts and, you know, different sort of uh, items, I guess. I'll put some pictures up over here so you can see some of the images that I've sort of came up with. Um, and hopefully I will be choosing some of these. I'll put them up on Instagram as well. And uh, which will be up today. And so, if you have me on Instagram, take a look at these images and let me know which of them you would actually like um, or you you know think would be good as far as merchandise goes. Um, today, I'm going to be setting up my little photo box thing and uh, going to get some animals and hopefully try and get some good pictures of them. So uh, that's that's what we're going for, and hopefully uh, it'll be an entertaining video. So. Yeah, we're going to get straight on with it. So as always, a uh, huge thank you for taking time to watch the video. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, leave a comment, and thank you to my patrons. And uh, as always, if you'd like to support me and you're able to do so, there'll be an annotation at the end of the video, as well as a link in the description. And with that said, let's carry on with the video. So this is the actual photo booth thing. I think it's from Amazon. And it's actually really, really good. You just uh, open it up, like so. Like this. Like this, right there. That's basically the actual thing. As for the background, you can choose a collection of colours. Um, I'll show you. Depending on what it is that you're going to be photographing, so there's like a black, white, green, or blue felt. However, I normally just use a black one. I think it looks better as a, as a background for doing this. There you go, like so. And there are actually lights on the inside here, so I need to get the wire to do that, and then we're, we're good to go. So I figured for the first spider I would use, I would use my favourite of my brachies, of course, the Brachypalma auratum. You can see she's just having a, having a wander. So I'm going to place her into here, and get the light on, and then hopefully get some good photos. Absolutely amazing looking spider. Taking a few images of her, I think just a couple more. That's a nice one. That's a lovely photo, I think. Let's see how these turn out. Okay, then. let's get her back. I figured I can't really do a video on attractive spiders without including this one. Here's the P. Sazamai. A very skittish spider, so I will do the transfer off camera in case he gets lost. That went about as well as you'd imagine. <laughs> That's a crazy little spider. So skittish. The good thing about this spider is it's really, really docile, but unfortunately, it just I don't know, it's like a 10 year old after energy drinks or a child after energy drinks. Let's just try and nice and steady. This one is not going to crop right, I don't think. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I figured the vinegaroon would be good. However, because this is all black, I think I might come back to this one later on and do it with a white background rather than the black one so that it stands out better. But uh, you can see it's doing really, really well. So yeah, I'll, I'll come back to this beast a little bit later on. Such awesome, awesome little critters. It's a very beautiful spider. Yeah, 
yeah, this spider looks absolutely amazing. Here's a spider that you don't see very often. This is Zelda, the Lacidora Power Hibana, the Brazilian Samoping bird, bird Eater. Currently my largest tarantula. And she's a big girl, you can see uh, she uh, completely covers this, uh, this sort of box. So hopefully I'm gonna try and get some good pictures of her. She's actually behaving quite well to be fair. Give you an idea of how big she is. There's my hand next to her. It's not the best sort of uh, size but yeah you get the idea. She's pretty big. I don't want to put my hand too close to her in case she tries to bite me but uh, yeah she's amazing. You look into those lenses and you wonder what she's thinking other than why is there a bright light above my head and why is he taking photos of me <laughs> she just looks so amazing I mean, just look oh, don't want you on me because I'm allergic but yeah I give you an idea of how big she is. <laughs> it's huge. Right, let's put her back. I think she's been really, really good today. I think uh I think she's definitely earned a meal after that. That's the first time I've handled her in several years and she was golden to be fair to her. Absolutely golden. I think we should try and feed her after that. You've earned that. Enjoy. You're a beautiful girl. Yeah. You're actually really, really good at this. Every time you move your head, it's like a little, like a different pose. You are a very beautiful girl, you know that? Oh, sorry. I shan't pet your head. Look at all your rolls, you look like you. Look at all this. I suppose you haven't eaten for like one whole day. Do like a little feeding photo shoot. No, no, stay in there, Ramsey. Hey. What are you doing? Are you happy? Yeah. Can I pet you? <laughs> so no. Okay then. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. Not the edge. This thing is not cooperating at all. 
Come on, just stay still. Please. Just stay still. Okay, stay still. Quick photo, I'll let you go. And definitely thought that this guy would be good with the white white background. Of course is the giant flat rock scorpion. That's a natural poser, this guy. I can't do a photo shoot without including this amazing little guy. There you go, Gex. Of course, Gex, 20 years old, leopard gecko. Health wise, not great to be honest. Oh, you got it. Oh, you still got it, eh, Gex? His eating isn't usually very good. He usually struggles quite a lot, but uh, I'm glad to see that he's. He took that down okay. Let's see whether he'll take this down. Oh, took a go for it. Try again. Nearly. And a boy gex. I usually have to resort to holding his head in uh, sort of like three fingers and then holding the food next to him to, uh, to get him to eat. But he seemed to do pretty well then. Oh, I love this guy. You okay? I know he probably doesn't have long left, which is it's kind of heartbreaking to be honest. I have to adore this guy. <laughs> 